For spreadsheets revision, let's just take a look at the grid with all the basic calculations in. So first of all, let's get some numbers in here. So now we need to start looking at the formulas. So to add the numbers, we press equals and then click on our first cell, which will put the cell reference A2 in there. Use your number pad for add and click on B2. Go back up with the arrow keys and then double click the replicator. A subtraction, with that, take away that one, A2 take B2, back up and let's replicate. Multiplication, A2 star B2 for times. Always work, by the way, left to right. If you're not told to do it a different way, left to right. Let's replicate those. Divide is A2 forward slash B2 for the divide symbol. So to get the total of these, then now we type in equals sum, open brackets, highlight those, close the bracket, press enter replicate those. The mean average, we use average. So to do this, you can just type in equals AV, find average there and double click it, which will complete the word and put the bracket in for you. And then highlight from A to F, close the bracket and replicate. This one's a little bit more difficult because we've only got the number that we're multiplying by in one cell. So if we do this the normal way, That's fine for the first one, but when we replicate, we get zero. Because all of these use what's called a relative cell reference. So when it's saying A2 add B2, it's really saying 2 to the left add 1 to the left. And that's the same here. 2 to the left add 1 to the left. That's what this is doing. So it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 to the left times 1, 2, 3 to the right and 1 up. Well, so is this one, and there's nothing there. So, in this case, a relative cell reference does not work, so we need to use an absolute cell reference. So again, it's going to be equals A2 multiplied by L1, and then press the F4 key to put the dollar signs in front of both of them, and that locks that cell as an absolute cell reference, and then we can replicate. So for your first task, I'm going to go into Spreadsheets and Code Breaking Lesson 1. There's the Spreadsheets Revision task. Make sure you put your name and class in there, and then you're just going to work through putting your formula in each of those boxes. And then the last four, as it says, will require those absolute cell references. So if you need to, go back in this video, have a look at the different sections and pause if you have to. When you're done, go to the print revision sheet and this will then show up your formulas so that you can print those ready for the spreadsheets test.